Hello everyone, and welcome once again to The Heirs Lair. I am your host, Jonathan Taylor. In today's video, as the title has already given away, I am once again going to be doing a uh, book review. And the book in question is actually among the shortest I've uh, ever read to, you know, in order to review, at least on this channel. That, and that uh, text is uh, Cold Rising by Rohan O'Double. Uh, Rohan has already written a few uh, short stories for various sci-fi compilations, and uh, this novella marks his uh, marks the first time he writes a uh, longer form literary fiction. The TLDW for this review is this book marks a very promising progression within Mark within Rohan's uh, writing career, because he manages to write a manages to write a, a novella that is very and. Um, that has a great control over uh, pacing, over escalation, and over the way the stage itself is uh, set up. It is, if nothing else, a very entertaining, very exciting read. So if you're looking for some uh, action-packed, fast-paced cyberpunk, this book is this book is right up your alley. Alternatively, if you're looking for um, if you're looking for the first uh, for your next uh, first step within a uh, larger exploration of the world of cyberpunk well then this book then this book was also um, might, might also be worth checking out you know just as an FYI and for those of you who are looking for a, a longer form um, uh, analysis of this book that's what this rest, that's what the rest of this video should uh, uh, should provide the plot of the book follows special agent Olgo, or Olgo, I'm not exactly sure how their name is supposed to be uh, spoken, an enforcer for working for this uh, setting's most influent corporation, as they are tasked with figuring out how this uh, corporation's partners slash subsidiaries slash, you know, other companies they, uh, uh, they work alongside of, uh, handle their uh, Martian operations. Uh, after uh, spending some time on the uh, Red Planet, Algo soon learns their uh, support structure is uh, somewhat lacking given the new, you know, given the new environment, and has to rely on some homegrown efforts in order to see their uh, plans be brought to fruition, their mission actually brought, be brought to fruition. Some uh, these homegrown efforts also receive some level of uh, some level of the spotlight before they, before the two parties actually end up. Uh, uh, meeting up and uh, getting stuff done. Okay, with that, uh, now that I've done that out of the way, it's time I can delve into the uh, uh, positives and negatives of this book. And the most important positive I could mention is the uh, pacing. Because Rohan is, uh, in, is quite adept at showcasing how, uh, showcasing how exactly uh, everything moves. And how the and how various elements move within this uh, move within this situation, and how that affects the and how that overall also affects the uh, uh, the stakes uh, within the story. There is there is never a dull moment. There is never a dull moment here, and everything is delivered as it is uh, necessary to be delivered. The characterization within this uh, uh, within the story works uh, uh, works quite well, also. With uh, oh, and within the short, within the fast-paced action scenes, you get to see how all of these characters react under uh, um, under certain pressures, but also in quite a more contemplative ones. You get to uh, you as the reader you get to see how these characters uh, how it, how it is that these characters uh, think about all of the uh, all of the events that unfold uh, for them. Allowing the readers to compare and contrast their own impressions to the uh, uh, to the happenings around them, it is uh, it is perhaps uh, somewhat limited, given that that uh, player perspective only occurs for the POV characters. So there is a there is a discrepancy in terms of how uh, in terms of characterization depth, which some readers some readers not necessarily me but some might consider to be negligent. The world building is. Uh, is done uh, quite interestingly as well, and in that uh, and that Rohan manages to succinctly uh, showcase 
uh, both the various characters within this book and also their relationship to the various um, uh, other elements within them, allowing the readers to better understand what it is that's, uh, you know, really uh, going on here. Um, when it can, and that is and that is done quite well when when it comes to uh, small scale uh, or small or medium scale uh, developments. When it comes to larger scale developments or even exploring the history of this world, uh, Rohan is uh, may I say not as skilled. He instead has to rely a lot on uh, simple exposition. It's not as elegant, but it gets the job done. Anyway. Enough, uh, enough sugarcoating, it's time I delve into what I really think is a, an issue with this book, namely the, uh, namely the plotting. Because this, this story isn't really an, uh, this story isn't really a, uh, sta a standalone piece, it is meant to be a, um, it is meant to be, uh, set up for some future developments that, uh, uh, that the author wants to, you know, wants to release in, uh, uh, you know, in future writings. And because of that, the quality of this book and the way and the events which it uh, spotlights um, are somewhat are somewhat une unevenly presented. Some some parts are are stretched overly thin, and some parts are way too, are too heavily compressed in order to really you know, in order to really allow the readers to uh, sink in and to really allow the narrative that Rohan himself tries to uh, uh, highlight within this story to really uh, to really flourish. There is a little, there is a little too much emphasis placed on you know, what happened in the prologue, which is which really has no influence upon the uh, upon the actual uh, uh, actions of the uh, upon the actual upon the actions that are um, that are supposed to take place on the uh, on Mars. And once and once we're on Mars, uh, the, the what is supposed to be the bulk of that what is supposed to be the bulk of that is actually given is actually given relatively um, not not a, not a lot of attention Rel so yeah relatively little uh, the the main the main friendship that I think uh, Rohan wants this uh, novella to be uh, built around only actually starts past the halfway point and uh, unfortunately he is not he is not and um, yet at least. Uh, Adept enough as a writer in order to really showcase that, uh, uh, you know, that uh, friendship developing in uh, that short amount of time, and that that disparity in focus also uh, that is where it comes to light, especially when we look at how this plot is resolved. Because the main reason why uh, Algo is uh, sent to Mars gets resolved by the end of this book, but the friendships they strike while on Mars are are still left somewhat uh, open ended are still left somewhat uh, open ended uh, as to whether or not it uh, whether or not it they, they will continue whether or not they will stay uh, they will stay in touch or or uh, you know ver various other uh, such reasons and the and I and I have to say that the ending itself is uh, unhelpfully ambiguous when it comes to potential uh, resolutions or uh, continuations. Overall, while I while I have to applaud uh, Rohan's efforts when it comes to uh, setting up the stage and uh, and describing what it is that uh, occurs uh, on the stage, uh, or, or you know uh, his actual descriptions from a technical standpoint, the events that are being described I don't really think match the. Uh, Ambition or attention that is that is given to um, other aspects of this uh, uh, other aspects of this novella. My final rating for Cold Rising is a three out of five. And yeah, that was my review. Thank you for your attention. If you uh, if you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like. Maybe even share this video wherever you think uh, other people will uh, like it as well. If there is anything you'd like to add to the novella itself or to my review of it, that's what the comment section is for. And if you want to see when my next video gets released, well then uh, please subscribe. And ideally also ring the bell or do whatever else YouTube will ask of you in order to uh, keep you notified. My own book, Heir to the Empire of the Next Generation, is available at most major book retailers under a master link in the uh, description down below. Right past my uh, social media links, which I would suggest you check out, should you choose to. And given my uh, next book is uh, 
uh, is also coming soon. In fact, by the time you watch this video, there should either be a pre-order or uh, purchase link available. Then now might be as good a time as any for you to actually, uh, you know, go out and uh, go out and seek out the book. Alternatively, or additionally, you can also support me on uh, Patreon, where you will also receive various perks, such as early access to videos and scripts, both for this channel and my second one, because yes, I also have a second YouTube channel. Until next time, I'm Jonathan Taylor, and this has been The Heirs Layer.